Hey, what's up, team? Eddie Gray back at it again, and today we're talking about what everyone ought to know to sound like a pro when mixing and mastering. And I really think that it's a combination of things, but specifically these three. Number one, get the instruments to sound good in combination with one another. So, for example, isolate your drums, isolate your, in this case, pianos. Make sure they sound good together. Make sure they gel. Good, and then when you get that together, maybe put the guitars against the pianos and see if that makes sense and see if they gel well together. So on and so forth. Make sure that everything starts sounding good in combination. Finally, when you put everything all together, it's going to sound absolutely incredible. Okay, so that is the first recommendation. Second, it is a must these days to have this plugin right here, Mastering the Mix. It's called Reference. Now, why is it special? Well, it does something that maybe one other plugin can do, but it doesn't do it like this. So basically, you have Ref Send, which goes before the mastering chant at the very top, right? And then you have Reference, which is a great A to B companion that you could use and, and use in, in, in so many different ways. But for right now, I'm basically going to reference the track before mastering and then after mastering. I believe, especially in the world of music licensing, or even if you're writing demo tracks or top line, that if you want to get a really good sounding mixing and, and, and master, and you want to do it in such a way where it's quick, you can do that. That's available to you. This is an option. All right, and that's exactly what I like to teach over at hfmusicacademy.com. So that being said, this is something that needs to sound solid, well put together, and polished. Now check this out. I'm going to hit reference, and we're going to listen to the song before the master, and then I'm going to show you the song with the mastering chain, and it's, it's a world of a difference. Now truly, you should work on this piece by piece, and it should be something that you build up over time. But sometimes we just need that opportunity to get it in real quick and to, to make it sound professional real quick. So again, check this out. Here's the original. Then we'll go before the master and then back to the original. Now, even if I level match, you'll still hear a difference in quality. So this level match feature is a really outstanding feature because you can really hear that this is not a volume trick, that literally the, the, the mastered version is going to sound a lot better by way of dynamics and punch and things like that. So let's check this out. So they're the same volume, but it just sounds better with the mastering chain on. You see, it's like it gets brighter, it gets wider, everything just sounds better. So use the mastering chain in this capacity. And for my last trick, we're going to use the Mastering EQ, the Match EQ by Ozo9. And guys, this thing is absolutely magic. You can take the EQ curve of an existing song and look, let's say you, you, you got something by Dead Mouse or Flume or what have you. If you take that EQ curve, which remember, these guys are paying 20, 40, 50,000 plus to get these songs mastered with the best of the best equipment in the world. So why not use some of that analog circuitry and modeling to benefit your song? So then here I'm going to bypass it. We're going to listen. And then I'm going to insert the mastering EQ, the match EQ of a song called Wild Ones. Here we go. It 
It's really incredible, especially when you listen to that top end, what they call the high end sheen. You get some of that detail, some of that richness that you really just can't get when you're not using this. Uh, there are stock versions available. For example, Logic has a Match EQ, but I've I've AB'd them and I've tried them both out. And when I did the shootout, the Ozo 9 Match EQ definitely won the round. If you guys have any other recommendations when it comes to Match EQs, please put them in the comments. But again, here's before. Yeah, I get to really hear those transients come out in a way that I just do not hear when this is bypassed. So those are my three rules for getting your mixes and your masters just right. Go ahead and follow those and watch your game go to a whole nother level. If you're interested in the content that we make, go ahead and email us support at hfmusicacademy.com. We're so excited about this year. We're so excited about your progress. We've already helped so many other people. It's your turn. Go ahead and check us out, hfmusicacademy.com, and we will see you on the next one. Let's go!